I want to talk to you about ePost now, and this is a POS uh, software tool. And uh, so here's an expose I want you to really think about. When we think about ePost now, I want you to think about a company that's based uh, in England. And uh, the company was founded in 2011. And uh, the, the cool thing is that for the last 10 years, more than 10 years, by the way, uh, they've been uh, innovating like crazy. And uh, so ePost now employs, uh, employs now more than uh, 300 to 400 people across uh, several offices in, uh, in in the whole in the whole world actually they don't have just offices uh, in the UK but they have uh, they have a presence in the, in the US they have a presence actually also in Canada in Australia and and other parts of the world so that's really good and uh, epos now has a uh, a range of equipment options including bundled hardware and software packages and also uh, standalone devices and a complete POS terminal with a touch screen, cash register, and a receipt printers will receipt printer will uh, cost you about a thousand dollars, and comes with a one month software subscription. And uh, Epos now uh, so software subscriptions starts at about thirty nine to fifty dollars per month when buying through the Epos now store online. And we love the fact that this tool is constantly uh, giving you a custom. If you are able to call uh, Epos now, and they'll give you a custom code based on your operation. What we also love is that uh, Epos now has features that you don't find a lot when it comes to a uh, niche POS. For example, loyalty programs, those are available either uh, the, either either uh, natively or through third party integrations. What are the pros and cons of uh, Epos now? Well, Epos now is easy to use. It is cust customizable and you have a uh, great reporting features in the software. So that's really fantastic. What about the cons? What are the detriments that we really have uh, found? Well, the UI needs improvement. So Epos now needs to really work on, uh, they need to work on uh, the user interface. And it's a little outdated. The interface is a little outdated. I mean, this company is kind of new, so we don't understand why they're not able to produce something really, uh, something modern. Usually uh, the outdated interface problem happens with uh, legacy POS programs but uh epos now has that problem and uh there have been some customer service complaints also when it comes to the responsiveness so something they need to work on so what are the products here so when you think about epos now what kind of products does uh, this uh company offer now epos now offers pos software designed for two different industries you have retail on one end and you have hospitality on the other the company also sells its own pos hardware but you are now required to buy it to use the program and uh, which is really good because uh, a lot of uh, pos uh, software providers they want to force you to really uh, buy their hardware to be able to use their software but epos now doesn't have that and uh, doesn't have that requirement epos now is compatible with uh, most third-party pos hardware options as well as most uh, common computers smartphones and tablets and uh, regardless of uh, which version of the software you buy you'll get an extensive collection of stand standard of features such as inventory tools to uh, keep track of your in-stock items sales reports to pinpoint best-selling products and analyze data employee management features to uh, record uh, statistics on high and low performing staff a customer support system to uh, store contact information send emails using MailChimp and encourage your customer loyalty. And you have security features that allow staff to uh, swap in and out and only access designated information. So that's really good in terms of uh, reinforcing uh, accountability. And uh, the cool thing is through the back office, you can uh, use, uh, you can see the full picture of your business on a straightforward interface and access the Epos Now app store to download apps then enhance your business capabilities. Popular third-party app integrations include MailChimp, QuickBooks, and BigCommerce, among others. And you are also able to uh, basically uh, accept multiple types of payments from customers, including credit cards, debit cards, and contactless payments using a smartwatch, smartphone, or Apple Pay. And the software works both online and offline. And the company actually claims that staff can learn how to uh, use the program in as little as 15 minutes so that's really cool so you have a uh, epos uh, retail epos hospitality and uh, epos uh, hardware so you have all kinds of products there 
But the thing is, when we talk about products offered by uh, Epos, you have, if you're not satisfied for some reason for, you're not satisfied in terms of the quality, you can you can check out what the, uh, what the competition is offering. For example, what Toast is offering, what uh, Light Speed is, is offering, among other uh, other rivals. I want to talk to you now about the cost. So you can see on the screen here is a cost approximately of what Epos have. And uh, so they have a, a constellation of a product and pricing depending on uh, depending on what you really need, because the, the final price will depend on uh, your uh, specific specific requirements. And this is one thing we have found, really. And uh, so Epos offers a specialized hardware to its customers and you can buy them separately or in a single bundle. The company provides what it calls the complete solution and this bundle includes a pro c15 payments terminal and epos now software a receipt printer and a cash drawer and the typical cost of this bundle as you can see on the screen 349 349 349 dollars but epos uh, was actually uh i mean they run a discount every now and then and uh, so the price will go down or up and if you don't want to buy the bundle as a whole, you can buy, you can actually pay separately for just the devices you need, okay? So this is an important element to, to keep in mind. And a barcode scanner on the website also uh, is, a, is a sold separately. And uh, you, you, you can also find printers, you can find weight scales. You have a lot of, a lot of uh, products you, you, you can buy. And some devices actually are listed for rent uh, rather than outright purchases including the EPOS uh, handheld POS terminal. And so that's really good. You also have a kitchen display system. That's really cool. The good thing about EPOS is that you must not use their company's hardware. You can use your point of sale hardware and pay for the EPOS uh, software system. If you buy hardware from EPOS, you can expect to, you can expect it to arrive between five and 10 business days after the order. And you can get help to install EPOS now on the hardware. That's really cool for transactions. This is an important element to think about when we when we analyze cost for transactions. Epos charges a flat fee of two point six percent plus ten cents. Larger businesses can negotiate a smaller fee if they have such a high volume that Epos is willing to compromise on its fees to have them as a customer. Right? It's all about the, the transactional volume, and you got to have the volume there to be able to negotiate that level of a compromise or discount, if you will. And uh, so, so everything depends on what you want, whether you want a complete system pricing, you want a handheld system pricing, or you want to have a tablet system pricing. So this will depend on uh, what you really want. What are the features here? When we think about uh, Epos now, what kind of features should you be thinking about? Well, first of all, Epos offers a different hardware options, including the complete solution that I just spoke about. So this will have this is a bundle that includes a pro a pro c15 terminal running the windows operating system it has a water resistant screen and a solid state drive to keep information you have an all metal cash drawer where you can safely keep your cash payments you have a thermal printer to print customer receipts automatically you have a epos now payments software this bundle is really called the complete solution but in reality is actually not you have to get a separate device to get uh, to actually accept payments from customers' cards to make it complete. In that case, you can choose from uh, one of Epo's card machines, the Link, the Pro, and the Pro Plus. Link is a compact machine where customers can insert, swipe, or tap their cards to pay you. Pro is a device that allows customers to uh, pay you by inserting, swiping, or tapping their cards. It has a built-in receipt printer, unlike Link. And Pro Plus allows you to both accept payments and accept complementary features like sales reports. And uh, Epos does not sell its hardware upfront. Instead, it rents them out starting about from $15 per month. So if you're not comfortable with renting, then you can buy your own hardware upfront and connect it to the Epos platform. You also have payment processing. So Epos offers a software to uh, collect payments from your customers and you can charge all major credit and debit cards including the, the likes of Visa and MasterCard or your customers can use digital wallets like Apple Pay and Google Pay and the platforms the payment processor uses encryption to protect 
customer's details and is uh, PCI compliant. So this is really good. And all transactions are collected at the end of us each day and wired to your bank account after two days. In terms of uh, integrations through the App Store, Epos lets developers build apps to, and to add functionality to its software. So you can download these apps from the official Epos App Store. Example of such apps include Loyalty Dog to create and manage customer loyalty program. Uh, programs you have zero for accounting and appoint appointed for restaurants to take bookings. So that's really cool. What is the value added here? When we think about Epos now, what kind of value are we thinking about? Well, top POS providers go to great lengths to uh, offer an area of valuable POS software an affordable price and Epos now delivers on both front on both fronts. So when we talk about the, the some of the areas where Epos now adds value, you have software integrations. So Epos now stands out among the competition when it comes to third party software integrations with over 100 app integrations. This system is compatible with more than with more third party platforms than many other POS systems that we actually investigated. And uh, so some popular integrations that Epos now supports include Shopify, QuickBooks, Zero, Sage Business Cloud Account, Cloud Accounting, um, Mailchimp, BigCommerce, Simple uh, ERB, and uh, Workforce.com actually are really uh, popular within uh, Epos now. We also love the fact that this software tool offers in-house integrations like Impulse Now Delivery and Impulse Now Order and Pay. And this is fantastic. What about payment processing integrations? Well, you you have uh, the likes of uh, Evo Payments and International Bank Card. You have uh, you also have a World Pay. Okay, this is really good for reporting. Basically, we love the fact that with Impulse Now we have a pretty uh, granular dashboard. That's really uh, it's pretty uh, synchronized with uh, third party apps in a very streamlined manner. So that's really fantastic, too. So we love that a lot. What about inventory? First of all, what about customer management and loyalty programs? Well, uh, Epos now has a built in customer management system comparable to other POS system that we actually investigated. It lets you amass information about your customers and personalize customer loyalty programs. What about inventory and menu management? Well, Epos Now inventory management tools are on par with the industry standard. And so this software offers competitive restaurant inventory management features like real-time floor plan management, time at table tracking, and integrations with major restaurants management system apps. That's just fantastic. And the software, the software also lets you track inventory, automate the ordering process, and receive control alerts when stock is getting low. And that really prevents you from running out of uh, hot selling items or needing to take a dish off the menu. So that's really fantastic. What are the specs here? So when we think about Epos now, what are the specs I want you to think about? Well, first of all, let's talk about the interface and use. So one of the things you'll hear Epos customers often talk about is the user interface and not really in a positive way. So we observed many complaints of the system being difficult to set up and understand. So Epos needs considerable changes to make its system more user-friendly and intuitive. In terms of support, Epos offers direct customer support through email and live chat. There is no phone support. You can send a message to the company's support email address or log in and get connected via live chat. Between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, GMT on working days, remember, Epos is uh, headquartered in England, okay? So there is also the support center where you can access a plethora of articles and user guides concerning all, all of the platform's features. Likewise, there is an official online community where you can seek help from uh, other users. So this is really important to think about. And uh, I want to talk to you about the, the competition, okay? So you have a competition from the likes of Toast and Shopify. So Toast is actually designed specifically for restaurants and hospi hospitality businesses and offers much more features than Epos in that arena. 
and Shopify is a general uh, point of sale solution that's more intuitive and, and really offers more features than ePost now, but costs more money. So this is something to really think about. And uh, but it, it's 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 all about what you're looking for. When we think about uh, the uh, the competition, you got to ask yourself which one are you going for. If you were to compare uh, ePost now with other players, you have a uh, block formerly Square, Vend by Lightspeed, Toast, and Shopify. So Shopify, for instance, the monthly cost is, starts at nine dollars but the processing fee is like 2.4% plus zero cents. And uh, if you were to uh, think about, uh, if you were to compare that to uh, Block Formula Square, Block is charging you uh, for a processing fee, 2.5% plus 10 cents. So more, a little, slightly more expensive. Vend, Vend by last speed, actually uh, has a monthly cost that starts at $99. And really it's one of those things where you have to see what works for your business and what doesn't work. Okay, so that's really important to think about. So what is our verdict here? When we think about Epos now, what kind of, what is our opinion? Is the, this tool really, a, is it a scam? No, it's not a scam. It's a, a legit business. It is safe, that's for sure. Epos really is a, is a run of the mill point of sale system that's suitable for all kinds of businesses, retail, hospitality, barbershops, etc. It lets you accept payments from uh, your customers with ease and reasonable uh, fees. Yet there is not much differentiation in ePost from the competition. It's just yet another point of sale system that you can adopt, okay? So ePost now is actually recommended for small to mid-sized businesses. Not large businesses, no. The feature set is too restrictive for large businesses, so we do not recommend recommend this tool to a large businesses. And we also recommend it for companies wanting to use their own hardware. And uh, we do not recommend Epos now for retailers looking for advanced CRM features. So this is something to think about. And uh, we also recommend Epos now for companies that want flexibility with uh, integrations. If you want some some kind of flexibility with integrations you will love epos now companies that want to use a third-party payment processor like evo payments or international a bank card and the restaurants that require kitchen display software so if you want to have some this kind of a kds you will want to go with a epos now and uh, we do not also recommend epos now for companies that want in-house payment processing and companies that want the uh, month to month, like a month to month POS system. You really want to look elsewhere if that's, uh, if those are your requirements. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I'm just talking to you about Epos now. I was giving you a little expose about the, this tool. And uh, I started with the expose, of course, the products, the cost, the features, the value added, the specs, and now the verdict. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.